Lap band surgery is fast losing its radical weight loss status as more Australians look beyond diets to tackle obesity. But what do you eat post-surgery and how much? This Aussie mum has written a cookbook so good, her mates are calling her Nigella Lapband. I want to show you a few of my little treasures. She's the world's sexiest female chef. I'm always going to be someone who tends to overeat, or I couldn't do what I do. I love food such a lot. She's an Aussie mum of three. So, Rose, what's on the menu today that you're making? Today we're having baked salmon. Um, it's full of omega-3, and it's just the easiest thing to cook. They live a world apart, but Rose Pilgrim and Nigella Lawson are birds of a feather. Well, I'm always fluctuating slightly. Have you always been a cook? Love cooking. Love it, love it. It's a passion. But up until 18 months ago, Rose's love of food had consumed her life. So one day my husband said to me, you know, Rose, I want you to be here for the rest of my life. I want you to be here with me. You've got to do something. So Rose underwent gastric or lap band surgery and paid the $12,000 out of her own pocket. It more than halved her weight, but created its own dramas. After your surgery, did you find that things were difficult for you to make or difficult to please everyone in the house? It was very hard. I found I was cooking two meals, one for myself and one for the whole family. So Rose wrote a cookbook, 36 recipes for the more than 10,000 Australians who undergo lap band surgery every year and anyone else who's looking for healthy options. Looking at the book in an overall sense, what have you tried to aim for nutrition-wise? Nutrition's really hard because when it comes down to a lap band, it's not about nutrition, it's about what actually slides down the lap band. When you say that nutrition's not as important a consideration as the physical aspect of the food, a dietitian would probably have a heart attack about that, wouldn't they? Sure, they probably would because there is cream in my recipes and there is a whole egg mayonnaise, but you need to be able to eat things, so you're eating smaller amounts. Thanks, Mum. Not that the family's noticed. As far as the kids and husband Sam are concerned, Mum's a winner and they're eating the rewards. So Sam, what's the biggest change you've seen in Rose since she had the surgery? Because the weight loss has been very gradual, I was shopping the other day and I had to search for Rose from behind and I just didn't recognise her new shape. I walked straight past her. But that hardly guarantees the nutritional value of Rose's meals. So we asked an expert to take a look. Hi, you must be John. I am. Dr John Tickell, food Rose. and nutrition are passions of his too. Well, Rose, what's that? This is called Pavlova roll, one of my recipes in the cookbook. Uh, okay, well the fruit looks good. You had a lap band operation. How much did you weigh? 132 kilos, I've lost 69 kilos. 69 kilos. And I've got a new life. So if you had to rate the health status of your recipes out of 10, would you say a five, a six, a seven, an eight? What do you reckon? A nine. A nine? A nine. Well, I'm going to have a look at this, a serious look at this book, and then I'll give it my rating. Definitely. Sweet ginger fish. Hey, this looks good. It's got all the seasoning, it's got the, oh, the carrot zucchinis and the rockling. I like this. I'm going to give this a nine and a half. Red Thai vegetable curry. Olive oil, love it. Curry, broccoli, sweet potato, zucchini, pumpkin. This is sensational. I'm going to give this a 10. And as for the desserts, well, even the experts can't say no forever. You eat all that? Definitely not, John. Probably a third of it. A third of it? Mm. Because you can't? Physically couldn't. I'd be too full. What do you think, John? Oh, it's dangerous, but it's <laughs> nice. It's a hard man to win over, too.